Hi everyone. Welcome to the Chemical Engineering Process Design Learning Videos with Aspen Plus Software. This is 12th video lesson. This video lesson provides you knowledge and skills on Applying Aspen Plus Software to simulate a chemical process. Simulation of rigorous distillation columns and flash evaporators in Aspen Plus software. Creating design specifications to meet desired recovery in distillation columns. Let's construct an Aspen Plus simulation to model the production of cyclohexane via benzene hydrogenation. A simplified flow sheet for this process is shown on the screen. Fresh benzene and hydrogen feed streams are first fed through the heater to bring the streams up to the reactor feed temperature and the pressure conditions. This feed mixture is then sent to a fixed bed catalytic reactor where three hydrogen molecules react with one benzene molecule to form cyclohexane. The reactor effluent stream is then sent to a flash tank to separate the light and heavy components of the mixture. The vapor stream coming off is recycled back to the feed mixture after a small purge stream is removed to prevent impurities building up in the system. The majority of the liquid stream leaving the flash tank goes to a distillation column to purify the cyclohexane product while a small portion of the liquid stream is recycled back to the feed mixture to minimize losses of benzene. We can use the process operating conditions shown on the screen. Create a blank simulation. Define the components. We should enter hydrogen, nitrogen, methane, benzene, and cyclohexane into the field for component ID. After defining the components, go to the methods, select RKSO in the method name option. Method is abbreviated from so redlich quang equation of a state, which is used for non-polar gas processing applications. Click the next button to populate the binary interaction parameters. Go to the simulation environment by clicking on the simulation button. First, specify the feed streams. We need to construct two material streams. Let's rename them as hydrogen feed. and benzene feed. Let's specify the feed stream compositions before continuing. We can double click on the stream to enter the input data. 
enter the composition temperature, pressure and flow rate for both hydrogen feed and benzene feed streams. So we completed the input data for our two feed streams. Go back to main flow sheet and add a heat exchanger. For simplification, we shall select a heater block from the model library. Let's rename this heater as preheat. Then connect the two feed streams to the preheater. We can use the reconnect destination option by right clicking on each stream. Next, we specify the Preheater operating conditions by double clicking on the heater block on the flow sheet. So let's enter the temperature as 300 degrees Fahrenheit and pressure as 330 psia. Note that when we enter temperature and pressure like this, these conditions will be the heater effluent stream conditions. After that, go back to flow sheet again. To model catalytic fixed bed reactors, we can use R plug reactor model in Aspen Plus software. In the previous video lesson, we learnt how to simulate catalytic tubular reactors. However, for simplified simulation, Let's use an R-stoic reactor model with a known pressure drop and a known conversion value. Also connect the reactor inlet stream which is coming as the outlet stream from the preheater and also add another stream for the reactor outlet.
Before continuing, let's specify the reactor operating conditions by double clicking on the reactor block. Specify the operating temperature as 400 degree Fahrenheit and the pressure drop of 15 PSIA. Remember that Aspen Plus recognizes negative inputs as the pressure drop. After completing the inputs, let's enter the reactions to the reactions tab. Click new reaction and select benzene and hydrogen as the reactants and cyclohexane as the product. Enter the stoichiometric coefficients for the reaction Then enter the fractional conversion as 0 0.998 of component benzene. Again go back to the main flow sheet and add a flash tank to the flow sheet. Select Flash 2 model from the Separators tab in the model library. The Flash models in Aspen Plus software are phase separators. Flash 2 is a 2 outlet flash separator and Flash 3 is a 3 outlet flash separator. Construct vapor and liquid outlet streams from the flash tank. Connect the reactor outlet stream to the inlet port of the flash tank. Then specify the flash tank operating conditions. Enter a temperature of 120 degree Fahrenheit and the pressure drop of 5 PSI. Now we have done our simulation up to some extent. Next step is adding the splitters to vapor and liquid streams from the flash tank. Let's select F split model from the model library and place on the flow sheet. The F split block splits a single stream into any number of streams with the user specifying the fraction of material that goes into each stream. Let's rotate and resize our splitter block icons by right clicking and selecting the rotate icon. After the correct placement, connect the vapor and liquid streams to the inlet ports of the splitters. Also construct two material streams from each splitter outlet port.
and rename them properly. Specify the splitter operating conditions next. First, we go to split one block. We want to remove 8% of the vapor stream and purge it from the system. Therefore, specify a split fraction of the purge stream as 0.08. Then go to split two block input data. Here we would like to send 70% of the liquid stream to a distillation column and recycle the remaining 30%. Therefore specify the split fraction of the recycled liquid stream as 0.3. Before we construct the distillation column and connect the recycled streams, let's first run the simulation to make sure that this extent is working properly. Open the control panel and run the simulation. The simulation should complete without any warnings or errors. If you receive any error in the result, check to make sure all the block operating conditions and material stream inputs agree with the procedure as we described. So we can see that our simulation doesn't have any errors so let's continue our simulation to add the distillation column. Before adding the distillation column, let's connect the recycle streams. We can use the reconnect destination option to connect the recycle streams to preheater. Run the simulation again to verify there are no warnings and errors. To add a distillation column, go to the model library and select a red frac model from the columns tab. The red frac block is a rigorous distillation model which can model multi-phase, very non-ideal liquids and rate controlled mixing. Place this distillation column model on the flow sheet and connect the feed, distillate and the bottom material streams. Make sure to attach a vapor distillate stream because there will be light gases like hydrogen, nitrogen and methane leaving the column and it will not be practical to operate with the total condenser. After completing the flow sheet, 
go to the distillation column input data specification and enter the number of stages as 15. Select the condenser type as partial vapor. and enter the reflux ratio as 1.2. We shall enter a guess value for the bottoms rate which will be refined in the design specification option that we will create later. From the previous runs, we can see that the cyclohexane flow rate in the column feed stream is 45.2362 kmol per hour. Considering what we wish to recover is 99.99 mol percent of cyclohexane in the bottoms. Therefore, a good initial guess for the bottoms flow rate would be 45.23 kmol per hour. Then, click on the Streams tab and specify the feed stage location as above stage 8. Then click on the pressure tab. Enter 200 psi for the stage 1 condenser pressure. There are options to input pressure drops throughout the column, but for this simulation, we shall assume no pressure drops. After proper input data, let's create a design specification to recover 99.99 mol percent of cyclohexane in the bottom stream. Go to Design Specifications under Blocks Column Specifications tab. Click New and select Mole Recovery as the type and 0 0.999 as the target value. In the Components tab, select Cyclohexane and move it to the selected component side. Go to the Feed Product Streams tab and select the bottom stream and move it to the right side as the selected stream. Now we must define which variable to be varied in order to meet our design specification. Go to the Vary tab under Blocks Column Specifications tab. Select New. Select Bottoms Rate as the type of the variable and enter 40 kmol per hour as the lower bound and 50 kmol per hour as the upper bound because we know that Bottoms Rate should lie between 40 to 50. After proper input data completion, Open the control panel and run the simulation. By opening the control panel, we shall see whether there are any warnings or errors. If there are no errors, check the results of the design specification. We can see that the design specification we defined has been reached. We can summarize what we learned in this lesson as follows. Chemical processes can be modeled and simulated in Aspen Plus software. Design specifications help to drive the process design to meet up desired output. Now, you are familiar with the basics of Aspen Plus chemical process simulations. You can practice and apply this knowledge to design more complex chemical process plants in the future. Please watch our next video lesson about economic analysis for chemical process design using Aspen Plus software. Until we meet with our next lesson, have a nice day and goodbye.